Recently, I've been struggling to focus. I got my first phone when I was 13. It wasn't because I needed it, rather I just wanted to fit in. But since then, it's become an integral part of my life. And in exchange, I have largely given up my ability to focus deeply. What started out as the innocent desire to fit in has largely become a distraction. But does it have to be this way? What would happen if I used my phone the way it was originally intended? Would life actually be less convenient? <gasps> All right, I finally got the phone set up and it's so cute. I am going to try my best to text someone. Oh my god, I can't be bothered. <laughs> hey, put on speaker. Hello. Lydia? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it does work. I can't call from a Nokia. <laughs> you call it from a Nokia? Oh my god. How's the sound quality? It's. passable. <laughs> You know that text message I just sent you? Yeah? That literally took me 15 minutes to type. <laughs> you regret? No, I don't regret. Oh, I don't regret so far. Oh. <laughs> I knew not being able to access my phone for an entire month was going to be different, but nothing could prepare me for how I felt by the end of the first week. Peaceful. All of last week, I was waking up feeling incredibly refreshed. I honestly don't remember the last time I went to bed without a screen. Obviously, I could have used my iPad, but I would have met my maker if I dropped that on my face, so I decided against it. However, throughout the week, I was battling this internal conflict. I felt more isolated and alone than I ever have, but at the same time, I felt more connected to those that I truly cared about. I think having the ability to text and reach anyone I desired caused me to develop this belief that anyone I met could always be a part of my life, either through social media or in blue and green bubbles. It gave me this feeling of security, and by removing that, I began to really cherish the moments I spent with friends and family. I realized that once it's happened, it won't ever happen again. So as of now, I don't see how there is any downsides to using an Nokia, and I'm quite excited for next week. So, um, I've been driving for the past few hours now, and somehow I've made it to the middle of nowhere. After dropping my partner off at the train station, I accidentally missed my exit. I was daydreaming a little bit too hard. And now I'm lost. Facebook is installed on this phone. I've never tested it, but I'm really hoping that works. Also, it just got really dark really fast, so I'm using the Nokia's flashlight to light me. It's actually such a huge relief that I finally made it home. And for those of you who are curious, I did try to send a Facebook message, but when the picture looks like it came out of a museum for modern art, I don't think it would have helped anybody. It's week three and I'm starting to get really annoyed with this candy bar. I just finished performing at the university district and I'm trying to receive an e-transfer. I have punched in every single syllable, symbol, letter, anything you can name into the search bar and the page still isn't loading. This is the third time it has happened this week. However, that isn't even the worst part. The worst part is just the sheer amount of times so I've gotten lost. Before class, during class, no time was a bad time. I either had to memorize where I was going or print off directions. I always picked the prior and then proceed to regret it right after taking the wrong turn and then having to ask for directions. Hey there. Do you by chance know how to get here? Oh, the so turn left at the heritage intersection. Okay, got it. Thank you. Ah, crap, I've been going the wrong way this entire time. 
I also noticed some other minor inconveniences like why does everybody use text or everything? If you have something important to tell me, don't text it to me, email me. That way my feeble goldfish brain can put it in a calendar or to-do list before it has the chance to forget it. Now that I feel like I have a complete understanding of the limitations of this phone, I've adjusted my life accordingly. And it's not a bad way to live, just different. However, I would be lying if I didn't mention that on day 26, I did swap back to my iPhone just for the evening because I was helping my partner host a party yeah. and I had to make sure that anyone Wait. who needed to get a hold of me could. It felt like I was coming out of the Stone Age. I could finally text more than three letters per second and best of all, there was GPS built in. I did immediately notice the constant buzzing. My world of peace was gone just for that one evening. So after these 30 days, will I continue to use this Nokia? Uh, probably not. I did really enjoy it, but I am also absolutely terrified of being lost. It was around midway through the challenge on one of my exploring the city, not because I want to, but because I have to adventures, that I noticed how bored I was. Driving with no guides, not knowing if I was moving further or closer to my destination, whilst only listening to the internal ambience of the car, became oddly peaceful. Although not intentional, it was time that I allowed myself to mentally and physically wander. Much like how I'm just trying to get a feel for where I'm at in life right now. And it reminds me of this quote from Seneca. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. The same limitations that made this phone such a pain is also what made it so delightful. I'm fortunate that I wasn't traveling because if you sent me a photo, well, I just wouldn't receive it. If you sent me a location, I couldn't see it. And if I got lost, I just had to hope that Facebook worked, which 10 out of 10 times, it didn't. This is the phone that you could literally only call with, which is great if that's all I needed, but I'd have to be damn confident with my job security and my friendships because I could see how easily I could lose connections and friendships due to my inability to respond. But I loved having that time when nobody could reach me. And I yearned for a day when I put everything behind me and just share my life with the few individuals that I truly care about.